dear students this is devang shah from lg institute of engineering and technology we are learning subject basic electrical engineering in our previous lecture time domain analysis of rl uh, first order circuit where we have uh, taken a series combination of r and l resistance and inductor and we have applied a dc source now the same phenomena we are going to repeat not for a rl uh, circuit but this is for a rc circuit so our today's topic is time domain analysis of first order rc circuit where uh, you can see here uh, from the circuit diagram where two uh, components are connected in series resistance and capacitor and the voltage v is applied that is a dc voltage source is applied to combination of r and c right where in we uh, arrange a switch having two position position number 1 and position number 2 right so you can see here uh, the capacitor uh, is connected in series with the resistance and combination is connected with the dc supply where at the instant uh, of closing the switch so here with the instant of closing the switch series combination is connected with the dc voltage source right so uh, by this way the capacitor is going to be charged so in our previous session we have discussed we have a inductor and we have a capacitor both are related with the time right so uh, the process is that once you apply the dc source to inductor and capacitor they are going to charge right and once you remove the voltage source they are going to be discharged now during th this process is not a instantaneous process but the charging of capacitor or a charging of inductor is a gradual process right so uh, today's uh, uh, session we are going to learn how we are going to charge the capacitor and how we are going to discharge capacitor so here our aim is check the behavior to observe the behavior of charging and discharging of capacitor right so here once you apply the v is the applied source vc is the voltage drop across capacitor vr is the voltage drop across the resistance i is the charging current and the charge in a capacitor we define as a q so once you have kirchhoff voltage law in this loop you can find here total v is equal to ir plus vc right so from this i can be uh, i can write the equation v is equal to r into c into dvc by dt plus vc now where uh, i have taken i i is nothing but dq by dt so charge q that is equal to c into v right and that is nothing but the voltage drop across the capacitor so current i is equal to dvc by dt so that particular Uh, equation or that particular term if I am going to write uh, if I am going to put this term in a equation number one I can find V is equal to R C D V C uh, by D T plus V C now I am just rearranging the particular equation and uh, going forward with the some mathematical formula where you will find here V minus V C is equal to R C D V C by D T again I am rearranging uh, in this term so you will find V Uh, d v c divided by v minus v c is equal to 1 by r c into d t right now in this particular equation if i am going to multiply by uh, minus 1 both the sides and taking the integration you will find the integration of minus d v c divided by v minus v c is equal to integration of minus 1 by r c into d t right once i uh, solve this uh, integration then i'll find log v minus v c base of e that is equal to minus t uh, divided by r c plus k where i find k is nothing but the integration constant so my first job is to find the k then now this k will represent the initial condition when i uh, when switch is connected to position 1 when switch is connected to position 1 the current would be flowing through the capacitor this condition is a initial condition so at initial condition always time t uh, must be equal to 0 so if i uh, say the initial condition when i take the time t is equal to 0 the voltage across capacitor must be 0 right so uh, this uh, particular term i am going to put in equation number 2 you will find the value of k is nothing but the log v base of e right now once we uh, use this two terms uh, the value of k and you put in a overall uh, equation 2 uh, so then you will find log v minus vc base of e is equal to minus t by rc plus log v base of e right so if i am going to put log uh, another side uh, that term then i'll uh, find the final equation in this term like log 
base of E, V minus Vc divided by V is equal to minus T by RC, right. Now, uh, my job is to find the voltage drop across capacitor, right, throughout this mathematical analysis. So, uh, if I am going to convert this particular equation in terms of the Vc, so I will finally got Vc is equal to V in bracket 1 minus E raised to minus T by RC. Now, this is the very important equation where you can see itself in equation there is exponential term, right. So, once you uh, once you find the voltage drop across capacitor with respect to time and you plot on a graph, you can see this kind of graph is available where with respect to time, the uh, charging voltage uh, across the capacitor that shows the exponential shape and that represent the term V in bracket 1 minus E raised to minus T by RC, where RC I define as the time constant, right. Now, let us analyze this uh, important equation in terms of the graph. So, you can find this uh, terminology where I can take the different value of uh, time. Let us say if I am going to take time t is equal to 0. In this case, my the voltage drop across the capacitor is equal to 0, right. So, that you can uh, put it in this uh, graph. Same way, if you take t is equal to rc is nothing but the multiplication of values of resistor and capacitor. In that case, uh, uh, you will find Vc is equal to V in bracket 1 minus E raise to minus 1. Once you put the, uh, once you take the typical value of E and you will find the equation, you will find the voltage uh, across capacitor Vc is equal to 0 0.632 into uh, V. So, what does it mean? If I am going to take uh, time T is equal to Rc, that means the voltage drop across capacitor or capacitor is charging uh, is 63.2 percent of total applied voltage. Now, that is why I consider RC is nothing but the time constant. Now, how, uh, in, in what sense or how can you uh, assume, what is the T in the, your circuit? So, T is nothing but the position of the switch. When switch S is connected to position 1, that is represented by T, right. So, what does it mean? If I am going to connect switch S to position number 1, uh, one is equal to the multiplication of values of R and C at that particular uh, moment, if I find the charging across the capacitor, that nothing but 63.2 percent of total applied voltage, right. So, uh, again we have discussed about the uh, time constant when I take uh, T is much, much uh, greater than RC. In this condition, uh, capacitor will be fully charged, right. So, why this is very important because uh, here, uh, you will find the conditions between uh, the closing of the switch and the uh, multiplication of values of R and C. So, once uh, you have total two parameters, so based on this total two parameter, you will find total three conditions. So, condition number one, when T is less than RC, what happens? See, the T is less than RC, obviously, capacitor is undercharging. So, capacitor starts charging. One is the uh, position of switch is uh, the time T is equal to RC. In this particular time, uh, we just discussed about, we just uh, gone through the equation and that values, you will find the capacitor is charged up to 63.2 percent of total applied voltage, right. But in which moment charge the capacitor, you must have to take T which is much, much greater than RC, right. So, the time duration of the switch S to position 1 is much, much higher than the multiplication of the values of R and C, right. You can straight away, you can see here, this is the graph of uh, uh, voltage versus the time where uh, you will find the exponential shape as Vc is equal to V in bracket 1 minus E raise to minus T by RC, right. Once you are taking a T is equal to RC, you will see that value is 0.632 into uh, V, right. And as go on, uh, if you can see here, T is much, much greater than RC, then this condition is fully charged condition or saturation condition. So, as a point of the designer, as a circuit designer, you have to look, you have to think about the different three conditions and as per the different three condition, you can design your uh, circuit. You can design the series RC circuit under DC excitation. Now, other way around, let us say if I keep the position of switch S2, uh, number 2, where position of switch S or S is connected to position number 2 where capacitor is going to be discharged. So, this decay condition uh, you can see here where switch S is connected to position 2 where everything is same, but in this case you can see the applied voltage battery 
V is removed from the circuit, right? So, my effective circuit is only the series combination of R and C, where now capacitor would act as a voltage source and it starts discharging. So, that particular voltage drop cross capacitor I want to find, right? So, my next job is to find the voltage drop across capacitor or what should be the discharging voltage across capacitor in this particular circuit. So, you can see here now there is no application of voltage V. So, I make it voltage V is 0 by applying the KVL, uh, uh, KVL in the particular loop. So, you will find here 0 is equal to Vc plus I into R where obviously I is equal to dQ by dt. So, C into dVc by dt. You put this uh, term in this equation 0 is equal to Vc plus Rc dVc by dt. Right now, rearranging this equation dVc divided by Vc is equal to minus uh, dt divided by rc right again once you take uh, both the sides uh, uh, multiplication by minus sign and taking the integration you will uh, find uh, log vc is equal to minus 1 by rc plus k1 right so uh, you can refer our previous uh, slides and you can also uh, apply the integration now from this my job is to find the integration constant k1 so this condition is defined as the initial condition where T is equal to 0. Now, the capacitor across voltage or capacitor is fully charged. So, capacitor is having the total application of voltage is V, right. So, at initial condition when T is equal to 0, when capacitor is discharging, right, the voltage across capacitor is V. Now, this particular value if I am going to take, so my K1, uh, sorry, my K1 is equal to log V. So, this particular term, I am going to put it in now, now in main equation. So, you will find log Vc is equal to minus 1 by Rc into T plus log V. Now, taking the mathematical term, you can see here Vc divided by V is equal to E raise, e, uh, raise to minus T by Rc. And finally, the uh, discharging voltage equation Vc is equal to V into E. Uh, rest to minus T by RC, right? By this way, you can also find or you can also derive the voltage across capacitor when capacitor is discharging. Now, let's say if I am taking the T is equal to RC, this time constant, then you will find Vc is equal to V into E raise to minus RC by RC. By taking all the values, you, will, uh, you can see here the value of Vc 0.368 into V. So, if time constant T is equal to uh, the uh, actual position of the switch or time duration of the switch S to position number 2, uh, that means here the discharging through capacitor, the amount of discharge voltage across the capacitor is 36.8 percent of the uh, charge value of capacitor. So, uh, that value or that graph you can see here that uh, under exponential uh, uh, graph, the decaying graph you can see Vc is equal to V into e raise to minus t by rc where if you take t is equal to rc that value reaches 2.368 uh, into uh, v right now here throughout this uh, rc uh, topic we learn about the charging and discharging of uh, capacitor thank you very much dear students if you have any doubt you can write in a, a comment box thank you very much